All right. Now recording is in progress. So let's go back to our document which I was formatting. Like I said, uh, if I want to, I can go on this one or that one. This one is for reducing the font. This one is for increasing the font. I hope you are following. Then the next question was saying, after entering my details in the header, I needed to type the document, uh, the question that was shown on the previous, previous uh, display, uh, I need to type all this, because it's saying type the text in this uh, box. And to avoid typing uh, and wasting a lot of time, what I've done is I've copied the details. I'll just paste them here in the interest of time. Assuming we have typed, and if you finish typing all this, they'll give you four marks. Then we move on to the next question, which is saying apply justify alignment. As you can see from the question paper uh, there, it's saying apply justify alignment to the entire document. Then after applying that, I'll go on to the next one. I don't want to be moving back and forth on the two pages. I want you to look at the question that we are going to tackle in a few minutes time. We we'll apply just five alignments to the entire document, change the font name to Arial and font size to 12. Then we're going to insert the line spacing of the entire document to 1.5 and the line margins to narrow. Just there, let's see if we can um, attend to those. So this is the document that I just typed and I need to apply justify alignment to the entire text. So remember, every time you want to affect the text, you have to select the text. If you're not going to, to select the text, nothing will affect the text. So I've selected the entire text and the thing justify, and that is justify, and it's already justified. If it was center aligned, it's not going to be that. If it was the align left, I will pick on that. But at this time, we are looking at the justify alignment, which is here. So I'll click there, and you'll be able to see that the, the text will be in straight line on both edges from left and to the right. So there, they'll give you a single mark. And the next question is, change the font name to Arial. So remember to select the font, uh, the text. Then we want to change it to Arial. I can click there and uh, just type the first, the first, uh, two characters possibly, and it has shown me area there, and I will press the enter key, and you can see that the text has changed from what it was to area. And the font size, obviously, it's already 12 there, and they said 12. The next question is saying, insert the line spacing of the entire document to 1.5. So, uh, this icon is for line spacing. And remember, let me unselect this. If you, the text is unselected, then you go there to line spacing. If I select 1.5, nothing will happen to the text because the text in the first place is not selected. So if you want to affect the text, remember to select everything. After selecting everything, then I'll go to that icon to make sure that I 
put the line spacing 1.5. Line spacing simply means the space between the first line and the second line. That space in between, that's what we're going to increase. So if I go there on line spacing and I go to 1.5, I'm sure you're able to see that the sentences are moving away from each other, creating space in between. And if I go to 3.0, you can see how big the space can be. But for this question, they said, we need to go to 1.5 and pick that one. And my text is 1.5. Then F, question F is saying, on, I, I guess I've forgotten something again uh, on the same question, which is F. A, I mean E, so set the line spacing to 1.5 and the line margins to narrow. So I've done line spacing, I need to do the margins to narrow. And to do the margins to narrow, uh, I bring back the question. Okay. Margins, they are found under edge layout up. Under the Pidley Out app, you'll be able to see the icon for margins there. And it says we send the margins to narrow. So I'll click down there and I'll set for narrow. And there, narrow is. So what it means when I select narrow, you'll be able to see that the margins, the margins which is the space between the white, uh, the beginning of this line to the text we are going to reduce this white space. Equally on the other side, the space will be reduced. So if I click there on the narrow, you pay attention to the white spaces outside the text. As you can see, the space has reduced because I've changed the, the spacing to, I mean, the margin to narrow. And we go again uh, 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 to the next one, which is saying create a blank line at the top. Uh, those who have just joined us, uh, the question where we are now, it is the question F there, question F. Create a blank line at the top and type the title. This is what I am going to type biography of the computer scientist. So we go back to the work we are doing. Gee, let me share it. And this is the work we are doing. They said, create a blank line at the top. So to create the blank line at the top, I'll click in front of the first T, correct of the first T sentence. Then I will press the enter key once and the line is created at the top. Then at that top, that's where I'm going to type the biography of the computer scientist. Let me just make it visible by creating enough space so that you'll be able to see. And this, we can put it in a board. We can put this one in a board. And if we want, we can center align it so that it can be visible. And if you, there were more instruction, you can even put an underline on that uh, heading that we have just put in there. And uh, all these I'm doing are catered for by the next question. And uh, the next question, if you look from the question paper there, it's saying center align the title and make it odd, which I've just done in a few, a few minutes ago. Yeah, so I've made it odd and I've put the underline and I've centered it. When you do these three two things, they'll give you three marks. The next one, the, the next question is saying insert page number, Love to show you this. Um, yeah. Okay. 
third page number, plane number three at the bottom of the page. So we go to our work. Let me just bring the work there. And then the work is there. We are trying to insert the page number. So we go on the insert tab there. Then it says that we're going to insert plan number three, plan number three on the footer, page number, page number, there it's page number. We click there, on bottom, at the bottom, we said page number, uh, plan number three. That's the one there, plan number three. And I'll click on that, and you'll be able to see that at the bottom there, uh, our page number has been inserted. The next question uh, is, let's look at the next question together. Easy, leave the line space and create the diagram exactly as shown below. So this is the diagram that we need to design. In short, we are going to insert the table, which has one, two, three, four columns and one, two, three, four, five rows. So we go ahead to our work area there. And here we create, they said, we leave a line space. So I create a line, then I'll go on the insert tab. And this is the area where we are going to go on table to insert the table which are the four columns, like we counted, would say one, two, three, four columns. Any the rows, I guess we counted they were about five, say one, that mean two, three, four, five. Then after there, I will click the page, I mean the table will be inserted. Then in, the first one cell there, there was the year. Then the next one, there was the training institute. And the, there we add what we call qualification. Qualification. And the, the last one there, it said major. Major. We are going to verify this. I'm trying to remember. Then there was a 2003 to 2006. Then down there, there was a 2000 to 2011. The next one there, if my memory saves me right, there was 2012 to 2015. And the the last one there, there was the 2015 to 2018. So the institution there, there was the Evering On College. Evering, in the interest of time, let me just type that. And there, there was Beth. There, there was the ICU. And he, there was the Penn Poster. And the qualification there, there was the diploma. Even there, there was the diploma. Even there, I think there, there was a degree. And the diploma. And the, finally, this region, there was networks. Now, who have a challenge there? If I recall very well, let me show you the screen for the question again, okay. Here, this region, uh, they are saying networks, but here in these two cells, it's hardware. So we'll see how we're going to fix that. And diploma, there are two diplomas in one big cell. So we are going to split those two cells. Uh, we move back to our work area. So we just put there those networks. And the, the next one, there was the 
hardware because these two are supposed to be mixed. These two. We are going to merge these two. So I'll click in the first one there. I'll click and hold down the left button on the mouse. Then I'll drag all the way to the next cell. Then I'll right click on the mouse and I'll select merge. And you'll be able to see that these now are merged. And there is also the issue of merging these two, this and that. I'll right click and then I'll say merge. And the two cells are merged. The last cell there, there should be diploma. Now, all we need is formatting. Let's look at what the question presents. That the table must look exactly like this table. What, what's so special about this table is that all the line borders are two two. If you can see clearly there, so we, are, we will need to follow this format. How are we going to fix this problem? Let's go back to our work area. In our work area, we start looking at it, this table now. We start fixing the table. Okay. And fixing the table, well, first of all, I click outside the table. Pay attention to the tabs there. If I select the table, you will be able to see two tabs appearing here. So let me click the table and the two tabs have come there. So let me select design. Under design, you should be able to see uh, this region here. This region, uh, there is a line style there. Under design, there is line style there. You click on the arrow for line style, then we can click, uh, we need two lines. If I click that, I'll get this icon. And this is the icon carefully I'll be going with and click on it and every other line there. If I click there, I miss. Okay, let me see my glasses. Let me get my glasses. Okay, with my lenses, I'm able to see now. And there on the line, I'll click, I have two. I have two. Even inside there, I'll click there, there will be two, 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 all the way, two, two. So what I'm doing there is exactly an assignment that I would want you to do. I will put this question paper inside your WhatsApp group. Then this video I've recorded it. And let me just do this. Uh, I'll put this video a minute from now. I'll put it on my WhatsApp, um, on the YouTube. Uh, let me show you the YouTube where you're going to find the video. Uh, say youtube.com. So I'll put the video on my YouTube. My network is slow, but sure it's going to open up then in the search there you are going to type the name uh, see Matthews what yeah that is on YouTube and you press the enter key you will be able to see a person who looks like me I think you've seen this person before and you select that person you will be able to find a lot of videos that he, he has done previously for the for those now in grade eight and when you go to videos, you'll be able to see today's video that I've just recorded. I'll put it there. If you forget on what to do when you are, you'll be doing your assignment, you can always go to this channel and check that video, go through it. And if you remember, then you can go back and do your continue with your assignment. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to share 
this question paper in your WhatsApp group. And then I want you to do this question paper, save it, and in my WhatsApp, inbox it to me in my WhatsApp. I should have your weight assignment in my WhatsApp group by Sunday, 12 hours. You can start today. If you finish today, fine. You can send it to me, but it will be in your WhatsApp group. Unless there are questions, for those who need to ask questions, it's amazing that in my group I've got Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has disappeared. Yes, Katenga. Unmute yourself and ask the question. So, so I was supposed to do the work and then we send it to you on in your inbox on WhatsApp? Yes, in, in WhatsApp you can inbox it. And the, I should be able to mark by the end of Sunday so that when you come back to school on Monday, your results will be ready. Anyone else with a question? Okay, it appears most of you, you are fine with my explanation. So remind your friends who are not, who have not attended this session to go to the YouTube channel, watch this video and come back and do the assignment. So for now, thank you for your time. Unless there's someone wants to say anything about, I'm about to end this session. All right. Uh, see you next week, but remember to do the assignment. Thank you very much.